Tony Hill rubber. Two minutes to go. In the second round. Oh yes, he's doing, oh nicely over the top. And can he follow the old double leg press? Now the folding press wasn't on for Sinclair either. A nice one again by Pinto, but Sinclair cross press this time. And he's trying everything. He spun out before he could get that one on either. That's where Sinclair is so quick. Those counter moves come beautifully. Those escapes. Johnny Kincaid relying a lot on strength here, and Sinclair, of course, his tremendous speed and agility for a heavyweight, which uh, got him the title in the first place. One minute left in the second round. Drop takes him for a bit slow with it, but he got the chance. That stopped him, that stopped him, and that punch right near. Referee Max Ward believed anyway that obviously he would have had. Maybe it was, but no, he didn't believe that one. Public warning. First public warning to Johnny Kincaid. So just a few seconds now with for this bell. So Claire tearing in with the four arms and getting an answer for each one. The end of round two, and let's see what Mick McManus thinks about that round. Well, I've never seen two every race move around quite as fast as this for many, many years. I think they're moving around like a couple of welterweights or middleweights. Uh, that's Tony uh, Sinclair. Since he beat me on television about 18 months ago, he's gone from strength to strength, and, uh, and now he's a British heavyweight champ. So I think one of the most popular heavyweight champions of all time. So with round three coming up. Any second. Seems to be trouble with side, but uh, can play Terry across the ringer. Long after the bell, I don't know whether he thought that was a bell for something else. But he's really getting the postings now from Sinclair. The start of this third. Still no score, two falls to the side about, and one public warning against John Kincaid. Trying the monkey tie, didn't work. Not yet, anyway. Very slow, deliberate one, but he got him away. The position of the referee there, completely impossible for him to see that. Oh, great backdrop. Very good backdrop indeed by Kincaid. And just a little bit of back trouble now, Sinclair. Of course, Kincaid goes straight for the most Club and gets the submission he's after. Very quickly indeed. In just one minute, ten seconds of round three. Ladies and gentlemen, in round three, and with a Boston Crab submission, the first submission to Johnny Kincaid. Mick, how about that Boston? Well, it was a good, it was a good move. Uh, it's lovely to get that first fall under your belt, and uh, it must have given Kincaid quite a lot of confidence. I think he'd really go to town now and try and snatch that other fall. If he gets the other fall, he's banging in line for a British heavyweight championship crack. And uh, the way he's wrestling, you know, he, he could get it. But I'm not, uh, I'm not going to say anything against Sinclair because he's got such a lot of speed. And uh, if he hasn't damaged his back too bad, I think he'll, uh, he'll come back and, uh, and try to level that up. Second away, round four. At five rounds to go, we start round four, with Kincaid again coming across the ring extremely fast, the second time illegally, and that time illegally, he's got one public warning against him already, but he is leading by the one submission, 
over the champion at the moment. Champion, there he is, Tony Sinclair. He's going to come back into this pretty quickly. Nice drop kick as he came in. Of a sort. And as Mick said, with Tony Sinclair so fast and agile that even a powerful man like King Cole has got problems here if he really gets back into this. Well, the referee is happy about those. He's convinced that they are. Uh, Heel of the hand moves. And a crutch hold. Kincaid, battle slam. Follow down, cross press. A little bit of danger momentarily for the champion there. complaining I think for the last kick there when his man when he was down as if he hadn't done it a few times himself in this ball <laughs> now some illegal use of the ropes here on that top rope Still got that Sinclair left leg. Come on, Sinclair. Right firmly on the scissors Receiving his second and final public warning there in uh, round four. But still leading by one submission to nil. What do you think his chances now, Mick? Well, he's got to watch it because he could quite easily get disqualified. I can't understand it really because he's already got one fall up. He's a bit silly if he uh, overdoes it. Uh, he's got to cool it a bit and just uh, carry on wrestling and try and uh, just beat... Uh, beat uh, St. Clair with some rough stuff and some good wrestling. If he gets disqualified, it's a complete waste of time. Yes, I think probably a little bit overexcited with the great possibility he has here if he does win this bout of getting a chance at the title. Just one and a half minutes left in his fourth round. And still Tim Cade in the, the black hair there on the right. So the trunks. Leading by a one four, submission four, game number four. Two public warnings against him. First press, gets a two, at the hair, got him off. You start that thing, Cade, and you're really on trouble. Just hold back. Thirty seconds to go. And a packed crowd here at Aylesbury working on tunnel hooks to see where this Sinclair can come back into this box. Bella Harry has only got about six seconds in this particular round. Four seconds. And the drop from outside the ropes pulled down by Sinclair on the bow. Next big man. Well, Kincaid pulling out all the stops in this one, there's no doubt about it. But look, he doesn't pull out too many and get himself disqualified. Uh, it's a